All right, I just thought I'd make a quick tutorial as I haven't seen one online on how to add your Helium to your Ledger wallet for all you who, not my keys, not my coin people. So start by just typing Helium Ledger and you'll get right to the Helium Ledger heart, uh, wallet document. Um, go through the usual, you know, follow the tutorial, make sure you uh, go to experimental mode and get the Helium app installed on, early, on your Ledger. Once you do that, once you do that, you can connect your Ledger, unlock it, Go ahead and go over to the Helium app. Um, if you get the message when you select Helium app pending ledger review, just click both buttons and then you should be at the waiting for commands. So you really just want to chill out at the waiting for commands um, and then continue on with these instructions. Once you do that, then you can uh, download the CLI, which you just click the link. This is easiest to do on a Mac because that's what the tutorial is for. If you're on a PC, not sure what to do. Um, so here we are on the Mac, download the file, just double click it to unzip, and then double click the folder. Now if you open up the little Helium Wallet CLI file, it'll just open up a terminal window, you may have to grant access, and then it really doesn't do anything. What you really need to do is open up a new terminal window and point it to that folder. Um, the easiest way to do that is just go back a folder, right click the folder, and go to a new terminal for this folder. And if you do that, it'll automatically open up a new terminal that points directly to that directory. And then you can start uh, typing commands. So the first one, I just literally wrote what they said, dot forward slash helium ledger CLI. And that just gives you whatever, like a basic little overview. Um, really, you wanna at least throw a command in there, like uh, balance. So if you hit the up arrow, it'll retype what you wrote and just throw in the space and write balance and it automatically shows you the balance of uh, one of your uh, addresses. Now this is by default the zero um, address that your ledger gives you. And of course there's uh, other tutorials out there that you can find other addresses but for the sake of this I just want to keep it simple because all you need is an address to transfer it off of your uh, regular Helium wallet on your phone. Now, depending on what wallet you're going to, if you add, uh, hit the up arrow, then add a dash dash QR, it should make it a QR code, but you have to do a space. So go ahead and add a space dash dash QR, and it'll give you the address as a QR code. I couldn't get the QR code to scan on my iPhone Helium app, but maybe one of you did. So I ended up just copying and pasting and emailing it to myself. So copy. Open up the Helium app, go ahead and hit the little blue send, uh, paste in the address. Uh, for this amount, I just think I just did one HNT, and then click done, and went ahead and hit send. All right, once it sends, you just have to kind of check to, you know, usually it takes about 60 seconds or so for it to go through. If you hit the up arrow and just refresh your uh, balance command, you can go ahead and run that as long as the ledger's connected um, and it'll go ahead and refresh your balance. Or another way is to go to the Helium Explorer and just go ahead and copy and paste uh, the address in the search and you could uh, load it up that way. Once it's loaded up, um, it'll refresh dynamically. In this example, I must have clicked it at just the right time because once I load it up, it's nothing, but I click activity and boom, there it goes ahead and shows up. So I can see it's already there. If I go back to overview, I can see it has the updated balance. And of course, if I go back to the terminal, CLI, hit up arrow, enter, I can see the updated amount. So really easy. Next is how to send. So to pay someone, you literally replace the word balance with pay. So in this case, I'm just going to hit the up arrow to uh, refresh the command. And then in, you'll see instead of uh, balance, it says pay. Here I have an old address followed by an amount. So I'm going to clear that out. And I'm going to go ahead and paste in the new address followed by the amount that I want to send. Hit enter and it'll show a little overview. And then you'll move over to your ledger. Um, you're going to go ahead and confirm the amount, confirm the address, all this with the right button. Um, once you confirm the address, you'll see the data credit fee and then sign transaction, hit both buttons. As soon as you sign the transaction, you'll see it update on your screen. 
Um, you can search for it either by the hash or you can just copy the little uh, web URL. So I went ahead and go ahead and copied and pasted uh, the URL, uh, put it in the browser. And let it load. You'll see the status. It says pending. Um, the failed reason it doesn't even show reasons. So don't be thrown off by that. So you can basically just wait a minute or two and uh, refresh the screen until that status uh, changes away from pending. If you look up the um, the address in the Explorer as well, you can watch uh, the amount update. But usually it's easier just to hit refresh until uh, this updates. All right, once it updates, you see status says cleared. And then you can go ahead and um, in the terminal um, confirm it by doing the up arrow and you'll see the balance is updated. You'll see the uh, balance decremented. I went to uh, my other pin on my ledger and I could see the balance moved over. So I had one HNT and now I have two. So, I mean, it's really that simple. You can confirm it on the Explorer, but super easy. Um, you either can show your account and get stuff sent there, and from there you can send back and forth. Uh, last note, and most importantly, is once uh, Ledger finally approves the app and you can look at this on the app on your phone, I guarantee you it's going to use the same addresses. So everything will just show up uh, the way it should. So hopefully that uh, dang app is approved later this year.